right now, imagine calling 911 and no one shows up. Why some communities in our area have reached a crisis stage for EMS services. A crew competing to beat cancer why an annual event this year is personal for this group of Badger rowers. And later, the life-changing and long-lasting effects of a concussion. They don't just happen to athletes. I'll share my personal journey tonight on News 3 Now at 10. The video is very clear, and our team is highly confident that there was no one in that area when this happened. A scare outside the Bayshore Shopping Center near Milwaukee today when part of the parking structure collapsed. Dozens of EMS and rescue crews quickly arrived on scene. They say two vehicles were crushed, but so far they say it appears no one was injured. Now imagine calling 911 to request an ambulance only to find yourself waiting longer than you should or worse, the paramedics don't show up at all. First responders are calling it an EMS crisis facing many communities across the state, including in our area. Tahlil Mahudin was in Jefferson County earlier today. That's right. Staffing issues, increasing costs to operate, and higher call volume are all making it harder for first responders, especially in rural communities, to keep up. The old volunteer or part-time provider model isn't working, and in Lake Mills, they don't have much time to figure it out. Time is running out for the Lake Mills Town Board to make a decision. Correct, we're on a, a strict deadline here. Their contract with an independent emergency services provider is ending in June, but they've not yet come up with a replacement. When it comes to small townships, cost is a big deal for us um, because we're very strapped uh, with our budgets. At Thursday's special meeting with state lawmakers Robert Dietrich and John Jagler in attendance, they're trying to do two things. One, bring attention to the struggle many municipalities are having keeping up with the demand. Staff is struggling and um, constantly getting put in the spotlight of having to respond to other communities and being stressed to their max. And two, find a path forward for their community. Cambridge Area EMS wants to be their choice. Our main reason for looking to expand is uh, the desire to help our neighbors. The district currently services about five communities. Chief Paul Blount wants the town to make it six because he says while they have the resources to run their department right now, we also are looking to stabilize our district. Thinking about the future, he wants to expand. If it's just one community trying to go it alone and trying to provide services, obviously it's much more expensive and it's you're having much less resources, less people, uh, less opportunity. Town Board Chairperson Thomas Buchel says despite the challenges, they're neighbors. So he's confident about the future of EMS in the town of Lake Mills. We all need to figure out a way to work together uh, to make it, make it work and make it successful for, for each and every resident. Cambridge Area EMS is one of two options the town of Lake Mills is considering. The other solution is short term and is still being discussed. Leaders in the town will need to come to a decision by April. 33-year-old Tyrone Young, the suspect in a Beloit homicide investigation from earlier this week, told the police the victim shot him first. That's just one of the new details we're learning in the newly released criminal complaint. The Monday shooting on Porter Avenue left 29-year-old Stefania B. Bussard dead. The complaint says when police arrived on scene, Young had a gunshot wound to the left shoulder. Five children were also inside the home at the time. Court records showed Bussar, who lived in Madison, had previously requested a restraining order against Young in Dane County, but it was dismissed after neither appeared for a hearing. Do video tonight. The National Guard has been deployed to help rescue stranded drivers in Minnesota. Four-wheel drive? Well, that's minor league compared to this. The Guard's Small Unit Support Vehicle, or SUSV, it's how soldiers have been reaching stranded motorists. Areas around the Twin Cities received upwards of 20 inches of snow. Around Madison, we appear to be out of the weeds for the time being as those storms move out. But up next, well, things are going to get quite cold tomorrow. Let's go to Julian Seawright with our first warm forecast. Well, Eric, it's already kind of starting to get very cold already out here on our weather patio. We're still dealing with some stubborn flurries, but overall, we're not looking at anything more in terms of snow accumulation for the rest of tonight. Taking a look at what we see ahead of us, well, things are going to, once again, 
be on the cold sides. 21 now, but the teens will rule the overnight hours as we slide into about our low, which will be around 6 degrees for us here in Madison. Currently in temperatures, 21 for Madison, 23 in Janesville, about 17 for Platteville. Those northwesterly winds are rather breezy between Monroe and Janesville, and even at 8 miles per hour for us here in Madison, which is resulting in this as of right now. Feels like it is 11 degrees in Madison and for Janesville, about 2 degrees over 4 Monroe, four for Lone Rock, and six for Mineral Points. Well, we are holding on to just small little flurries lingering for us. We are going to be looking at not a whole lot of snow, at least throughout much of our Friday, but it will be on the colder side as our high is only going to be around 22 degrees. It will be cloudy throughout our afternoon and going into our Friday nights, and we are looking for one last little surprise before we get from the single digits to the 30s heading into the weekend. We'll tell you what that surprise is coming up in a few moments. Until then, back to you guys. Flags across the state today ordered to have staff following the news that former Wisconsin Governor Tony Earl has died. He was 86 years old. According to a statement from the governor's office, Earl died today after suffering a stroke earlier this week. He spent his remaining days hospitalized and surrounded by family. Earl is survived by his four daughters and 11 grandkids. We have more details on his personal life and professional career on our website. There you can also see a special obituary honoring the former governor and his years of public service. And also today, UW Madison says a memorial service for former Chancellor Rebecca Blank will be held on March 4th. She died of cancer last week. The service will be held at First Congregational United Church of Christ on University Avenue in Madison at 2 p.m. An online live stream will also be available for those who cannot attend. While it's a little cold to get out on the water just yet, the Badger men's and women's rowing teams are hitting the gym to do what they do best. This while raising money for a good cause and honoring one of their own lost to brain cancer. Our Arman Rahman reports. You normally won't find college rowers this excited to be working out indoors. It's, it's a torture machine, actually. But today, they're on these ergometers, or ergs, for a good cause, raising money for brain cancer research. We have so many people in our lives that are affected by this disease, so it's good that we can use our platform to provide some uh, awareness to the disease. The Connors Erg Challenge is a 100K virtual rowing relay. Teams switch every three minutes. <laughs> Rowers zone in like they're staring at the water and not a small screen. Tactic is go out as hard as you can and try to hold on. You know, this is a fly and die situation. The challenge was started eight years ago by the mother of Connor Dawes, who died from brain cancer before he could make it to college. She doesn't let us forget. And, you know, it would be easier for us to forget because life moves on, you know, unless you're reminded of things that are really important. And this is more important than just rowing. While the teams have been making waves with this fundraiser for the past eight years at the Boathouse, this year it's hitting a little closer to home. I mean, to be honest, it's really hard to be here today. Leslie Dressler lost her husband Chris, a UW professor and former rowing coach and competitor, to brain cancer in January. This was his Boathouse. Um, the two of us have spent a fair amount of time here also. Um, it's also amazing to be here for something like this because I know he believed in it. I know he believed in them. And they've had Chris as a professor and they loved him. So each cycle, in and out, a reminder of who's gone and who they're rowing for. Fun, just a celebration of life, too, that you're here healthy and also honoring them through the one thing that bonded us all, rowing. In Madison, Armand Rahman, <laughs> News 3 Now. Wisconsin Rowing's goal for this year is $20,000. They're more than halfway there, and there is still time to donate online, and we'll have a link to do so at channel3000.com. Looking ahead, Republicans will hold their first presidential primary debate ahead of the 2024 election in Milwaukee. Party officials confirmed the news today. While a date has not yet been set, the debate is scheduled for sometime in August. The 2024 Republican National Convention will also be held in Milwaukee. Tonight, a community input meeting for future redevelopment plans for John Nolan Drive. After more than 50 years of wear and tear, the thoroughfare is in need of a makeover. The project will redesign the entire cause way from North Shore Drive to Olin Avenue. It is still a ways off, though, with construction not set to start until 2027. Fireworks lit up the night sky over Moscow this evening to mark Russia's Defender of the Fatherland Day. 
The public holiday was known in Soviet times as Red Army Day. It falls on the eve of the first anniversary of Russia's 2022 invasion of Ukraine. The Kremlin cast the war there as a special military operation to protect Russia's own security. New drone footage tonight above the eastern Ukrainian city of Bakhmut showing how the longest battle of the invasion has turned it into a ghost town. That footage shows no people. They are still there somewhere out of sight in basements and defensive strongholds trying to survive. Of the pre-war population of some 80,000, just a few thousand residents have refused or been unable to evacuate. Ukraine Central Bank also unveiled a new banknote today to mark the first anniversary of Russia's invasion. The new note depicts three Ukrainian soldiers raising a blue and yellow national flag and on the opposite side features an image of two hands tied with a tape in a clear reference to Russia's war crimes committed on occupied territories. Still ahead tonight, Julian's updated forecast as we near the weekend. But first, a News 3 Now special report. I share my personal months-long journey towards recovery after a brain injury. Stay with us. You are a friend, a neighbor, a family at heart. We are Gruber Law Offices, your ally and your advocate. If you've been injured in a trucking accident, you need Gruber Law Offices to fight for you. One call, that's all. Welcome to Oakmont Senior Community in Verona. Active seniors 55 plus will enjoy our new luxury apartments professionally managed by award-winning Attic Angel Community. Call Demery today for a tour and reserve your place at Oakmont. Exciting things call for a drum roll, like this new offer on one of Wisconsin's favorite lotto games. It's Super Cash 5 will get you six. During February, when players buy a $5 or greater Super Cash ticket, they'll get a bonus ticket with two additional plays for the next drawing, only in February. This exciting offer from the Wisconsin Lottery is going fast. It's Auto Show. The deals start now, and so should you. Get started on your next Ford SUV, like Bronco, Explorer, or the new Escape. Get here to get a deal on the SUV's number one in brand loyalty. It's Auto Show. The deals start now, and so should you. During Auto Show, choose Flex Buy on Escape, Edge, or Explorer with 3.9% APR financing for 66 months, plus 1,000 Auto Show cash. The sun has risen, the pride has returned, and the time has come to join the circle of life at The Lion King. Coming to Overture Center May 11th through 28th. Tickets on sale now at Overture.org. Need life insurance? Select Quote found Jacob, 40, a $500,000 policy for only $19 a month. And Select Quote found his wife, Wendy, a $500,000 policy for only $17 a month. Select Quote. We shop, you save. Welcome to Oakmont Senior Community in Verona. Active seniors 55 plus will enjoy our new luxury apartments professionally managed by award-winning Attic Angel Community. Call Demery today for a tour and reserve your place at Oakmont. After a serious truck crash, you need a team who knows how to handle trucking cases and gets results. You need Gruber Law Offices. There's never a fee until we win. Gruber Law Offices. One call, that's all. He's a titan in the television industry. Please welcome Larry Wilmore. You've opened up the doors for so many black creators. Come on in. Then meet Jennifer. Surprise. On the next Jennifer Hudson Show at 3. You're watching News 3 Now at 10. We hear a lot about concussions these days, often because of sports, but that's really just the tip of the iceberg. Concussions happen to millions each year, and for many people, they can be life-changing and long-lasting. People like Charlotte. Well, I was on an elevator just like this one when everything started to turn white. I closed my eyes. I leaned my head back against the wall fainted and fell, hitting my head pretty hard on the handrail. And I have not been the same since. It's an invisible condition. Meaning, how often do people who have concussion have people walk up to you and say, you look fine. But I wasn't fine. I was well past the normal recovery time of a couple weeks, and I was still having crushing headaches every day. I was nauseous, dizzy, and suddenly lights and loud noises bothered me. 
even more frightening, I couldn't remember words, names, or what I was talking about during a conversation. One time while driving, I suddenly didn't know where I was. Turns out, I was two blocks from home. I kept thinking, what's wrong with me? About 20% of people have persistent post-concussive symptoms greater than three months. Of the roughly 3 million people who get a concussion every year, about 600,000 develop post-concussion syndrome. They're the long haulers, the group that will take months or even years to feel and function like themselves again. They don't realize how it affects their life, not just oh, I have a headache, or oh, um, I have some memory problems, but it affects their work, their family life, social things, it affects everything. I'm gonna give you this deck of cards. Kathy Pazak have two piles. is my speech therapist. I'm gonna ask you questions. How many times have I said to you, I want that big red Band-Aid on your head so people know there's something wrong, because you look great. You know, you're walking, you're not, you know, drooling. She's right. Do by suits. You don't see it. More local news now. But Kevin if you pay Bobby attention, you can hear it. Agriculture cons consulting. Consulting. I know that word, but in an instant, my brain didn't. That is a word agnosia. It's, it, you know it. I've said this word 10 times, but just in that fleeting minute with everything else that's going on, in your life with the cameras and the lights. Then snow cancels You've got school so many stressors, it just goes. For months, it's been baby steps. Good. To rebuild my memory. And, um, let's see. Learn how to multitask and process everything around me. Water mammals. Because everything is different, and so am I. And with the concussion, the biggest challenge is people, people's identity changes really light circles and so we want to help you get your identity back marianne relke is my occupational therapist so which one is better the lighter or the dark and she's helping me get back to living a normal life you'll get better it just takes time you can't speed it up you can't muscle through this the finger to nose okay. but there is help keep going faster and hope i don't sit there and, and have this conversation where i say you won't get better but i'm, I'm going to keep fighting i'm going to keep trying to find answers for you I've heard from so many people already sharing their concussion stories with me. They're telling me that they don't know what to do, where to go. They feel like they're not being heard or taken seriously. I get that, but there is help. And I believe in my team 100%. So to anyone out there who needs help and hope, I want you to contact me, email me or Facebook message me, and I will give you their information so you can see them too. Charlotte, great story. Thank you for sharing. Next at 10, it is snow near the Hollywood sign. The mountains of L.A. County getting their first blizzard warning since back in 1989. Overnight, the Weather Service forecasts up to 8 feet of snow accumulation at the highest elevations. They predict lower elevations could actually see accumulation as well. We're hoping to get a break from it. Across southern Wisconsin, here's Julian with his first warned forecast. Pretty That's right. please. I'm trying, Charlotte. <laughs> Just trying to give you a little bit of something to be helpful of, but it's... This forecast long range isn't the best uh, for that. So let's go ahead and talk about the short range because that's where we can see at least a bit of hope for right now. The three things we'll need to know in terms of our weather headlines. Well, we're not looking at a whole lot of snow for the next few days. Instead, we are going to be seeing sunshine heading into the weekend and the upper 30s. But before we get there, we are looking at temperatures to be rather frigid from tonight's going into our early Friday morning. So be prepared to wear some layers and to bundle up. We're going to be seeing wind chill values from 0 to 10 degrees below zero as you're heading out the door to start your Friday morning. And we're not going to see that improvement until we get into our Friday afternoon. But remember that surprise I talked about into our first weather? Well, we are going to be showing that in just a few moments. And it's not just the rain that we're going to see from Sunday night going into our Monday. We are still dealing with some very light flurries on our radar, but outside of it, temperatures will slide into the single digits for tonight. 18 degrees for Janesville and about 10 degrees for Platteville is what our lows are going to be as we're heading out the door. Again, for the wind chills, you're heading out, it's going to be into the single digits near 10 degrees below zero as you're heading out. So once again, just really make sure that you're bundling up and we won't see those improvements until we get into our Friday afternoon. So planning for tomorrow, temperatures will be into the lower 20s. We are going to have opportunities to see some sunshine for our Friday, but the cloud cover is going to return once we get into our Friday afternoon 
And that's not the only thing that's going to be returning. Once we get through our Friday morning and all the cold spell that we're going to be holding on to Friday afternoon, we are watching for a small little clipper system that will be bringing in the snow. Yes, we are looking for a little bit of snow, but the good news is it's just going to be a little bit of snow. Some light snow showers and flurries are going to roll its way into our late Friday evening into our Friday nights, but it's going to be out of here by the time we get into our midnight hours and then heading into Saturday. We are looking for sunshine and dry conditions. Again, in terms of how much snowfall we're going to be seeing, it's going to be very decorative, not even an inch for 90% of the area. Some areas might be close to an inch, but overall, we're not looking for this to be accumulating much from this small little system. But that's not what else we're going to be watching for. So our next system that's coming in from Sunday nights. Here's what we know. We have a very wet and robust system that's going to be rolling into the upper Midwest once again. It's a good thing that it's really going to be into the warmer side of things. So we're going to see rain mainly, but we could see potentially some freezing rain, some sleet, or even some snow mixing in with it. But we're not looking for a significant snowfall because temperatures are just going to be too warm. What we don't know is what the precipitation type and when that precipitation type will begin specifically. But we are going to be looking for when we head into our Monday evening hours for it to be a bit of a mixture, potentially even some snow, but rain amounts. Well, we could be approaching close to about an inch of rainfall from this system heading into our Monday. So until we get there, enjoy Saturday. That seems to be the more quiet day of our next few days, but outside of it, temperatures will be near 40 degrees, but we are entering another active pattern of weather for next week, which once again could bring in our cursed Thursdays, some snow on the ground. And coming up in sports, wrestlers took the mats at the Cole Center for day one of the state tournament. Who's heading to the semifinals? Find out next on News 3 Now. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. The world's largest consumer bicycle show and sale, Bikeoramas, at Madison's Alliance Energy Center, March 10th, 11th, and 12th. Test ride the best bicycles and e-bikes indoors. Factory reps can answer your questions about the new bike model. All at the lowest prices of the year. Bikeorama, March 10th, 11th, and 12th, at Madison's Alliance Energy Center. To everyone who believes in tradition, come enjoy a few of ours from Wisconsin. People in Wisconsin love a good fish fry. Really love. And we love sharing it with guests everywhere. At Culver's, we still batter our North Atlantic cod by hand to order. And we cook it to a crispy, golden perfection just for you. For you. For you. So it's crispy outside, flaky inside. Let us take care of you. With some homegrown traditions we were raised on. From Wisconsin with love. Welcome to Delicious. The stylish Chevy Equinox RS like, uh, and Chevy Blazer RS. So captivated. You don't have to be an influencer to be an influencer. The, crowd go crazy. the RS family of Chevy SUVs, definitely worth a follow. Well-qualified buyers get 2.99% financing on all Equinox models or get $1,000 cash allowance on all 2023 Equinox models. Plus, current Chevy owners get an additional $750 cash allowance. Us. This isn't us. Uh -huh. Is it? When did we get so connected to our devices and so disconnected from each other? And when our phones have turned us into this? LT, what do you do when you're a company that sells them? We gotta fix this. It's time to find what we're missing. Join us in taking a break from our devices. Take the phones down for five challenge for five days, five hours, or even just five minutes. Feels good. <laughs> and let's find us again. U.S. Cellular. Built for us. Oh, the weather. What's the chance of rain tomorrow? Ooh, 80%. I make it rain. I make it rain. Speaking of making it rain, at Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison, we have an average 95% payout, which leads you to more chances of playing longer and more chances to win big. Play longer, win more, chances are you're gonna like it. Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison. Not attorney spokesperson. This is a paid advertisement for legal services sponsored by Nightline Legal. Cases assigned on a random basis to participating law firms. If you or a loved one were stationed at Marine Corps Base Camp Lejeune between 1953 and 1987 and were later diagnosed with cancer, Parkinson's disease, or other serious health effects, call right now. Call 1-800-336-0524. News 3 Now is always on. Download the Channel 3000 app and we will send you local breaking news as it happens. The Channel 3000 app. Get it now. Powered by News 3 Now.
the world's largest consumer bicycle show and sale, Bikeoramas, at Madison Line Energy Center, March 10th, 11th, and 12th. Test ride the best bicycles and e-bikes indoors. Factory reps can answer your questions about the new bike model. All at the lowest prices of the year. Bikeorama, March 10th, 11th, and 12th, at Madison Line Energy Center. Last night was a breakout game in more ways than one for the Badger men. It was their first double-digit win since December 30th. Connor Asijan shot out of a slump, and Tyler Wall got back to his old self again. The senior forward stuffed the stat sheet with an 11.14 rebound double-double performance, all thanks to a simple pregame message from his head coach. Play hard, let the chips fall where they may. And that's, when you play hard, good things happen. Things fall in your lap, so to speak, when you, and, and he did that. He, he uh, played exceptionally hard. Wisconsin women look to avenge last month's loss to Northwestern less than a minute ago, tied at 56, and that's when Maddie Wilkie took the game over. First, she banks it home for two to put Bucky up to. Then later, she put this one on ice. Wilkie finished with 17. Badgers make it two straight with a 64-57 win. Year in and year out, Mount Horeb Gymnastics is at or near the top of not only their conference, but the state. And this season is no different. Now, the big question is, how have they sustained all their success? The answer is simple. Martha Kohler Faust. Martha Kohler Faust is Mount Horeb Gymnastics through and through. Hey, Marley. Come on now. She is the program. Martha is the program. Before taking over the program. All right, good girl. Way to stick with it, honey. She competed there. She wants it to be something that we're proud of, and she does a really good job of making us proud to be Mount Horeb Vikings. And in her 26 year as the head coach. That away. She's got the routine down. It's always been our motto is just believe in yourself, believe in your team, and do the best you can. That word believe? Believe in yourself, believe in each other, because that's such an important part of gymnastics is like believing that you can do it. Instills confidence in her team to help land the perfect dismount. That away, Tirza. We practice all the time. We know what to do. So the most you can do when you get to those meets is believe that you've practiced enough, believe in yourself, believe in each other. That's what Martha always tells us. But more importantly, it provides a boost to her Vikings that they can do anything they put their mind to. Learning yourself and knowing like how to like tell yourself, I got this, I can do this, I believe in myself. That's such a powerful feeling. An all around feeling. She's definitely has changed my life for the better and like it's just shaped me into who I am today. That's always a perfect score to Martha Kohler Faust. It just makes me super proud that they think of me that way and I, I hope that I can be that positive role model for for however many years I'm, I'm going to be here. Day one of the state wrestling tournament, Division I quarterfinals, and what a round it was for Milton. At 220, Aiden Sinclair wins by a fall in the second period. He and four other Red Hawks move on to the semifinals. Then at 285, Stowen's Griffin Empey, looking to finish his senior year off strong. He gets back points en route to a 9-3 decision to punch his ticket to the semis. And on the girls' side, it was a historic day. The first ever girls' state wrestling tournament at the Cole Center, and it was a pin party. At 114 pounds, Sun Prairie's Bopa Quintana wins by the pin in 36 seconds to advance to the semis. Then at 132, Mineral Points, Kylie Rule flips her opponent over flat like a pancake. She's moving on in the winner's bracket. We're back after this. It would appear that the butler did it. But this isn't a whodunit film. It's a Nissan sales event. Ad. Get a low 359 per month lease on the 2023 Nissan Rogue. Catch these offers while you can. I pick and save. As a veteran of our country's armed services, you have already made the ultimate sacrifice. Why should you have to continue to do that? Through no fault of your own, you may be experiencing hardships, such as the inability to pay rent, utilities, or receive other life-sustaining services. And once again, you're called upon by your family to serve and protect. We want you to know we are here to support you. 
The Veterans Rental Assistance Program was created by and for people living in Wisconsin, with benefit approvals being issued to veterans in just days, not months. It's not easy to ask for a hand up, but we are clear in our mission. No Wisconsin veteran should ever have to face homelessness or lose heat, power, or water again. 833-WIS-VRAP. That's 833-947-8727. Do you have an idea for an invention, but you don't know what to do next? Call InventHelp. They've been helping inventors for 35 years. Call today for free information. Call 800-550-5543. Back by popular demand, Black Violin returns to Overture Center for one night only. Be prepared. This isn't your typical classical violin concert. Black Violin, Thursday, March 2nd at Overture. Get your tickets today at Overture.org. Lean back and save big this winter at the Century House. Right now, save hundreds going from one grade of stressless leather to a superior grade for free. Or save $300 and get a free battery when you purchase any stressless mic or stressless max motorized recliner or any stressless classic power recliner. Don't miss out. Shop the Century House, 3420 University Avenue in Madison. When your door is always open, so is the fridge. At Pick and Save, however you shop, in-store, pickup, or delivery, you get the same great prices, deals, and rewards. That's a win-win-win. Pick and Save, fresh for everyone. It would appear that the butler did it. But this isn't a whodunit film. It's a Nissan sales event ad. Get 0% financing for 36 months on select models. Catch these offers while you can. Join me in the 608 weekdays on News 3 Now this morning. You're watching News 3 Now at 10. Julian's back with the final check of your forecast. Well, things are going to get really cold overnight heading into our Friday morning, so make sure you're layering up and bundling up. But the good news is sunshine returns this weekend, and so do seasonable temperatures, middle to upper 30s. And then we have another active weather pattern. It's not just rain that's in our forecast, but we do have some snow chances as well that here the First Warm Weather Team will continue to watch and give you the latest on. It's like spring for a few days, then winter comes back. Winter comes back and next week. Yeah, I'm over it's it. The roller coaster. <laughs> Thanks for joining us for News for Now at 10. Do something good, and we'll see you back here tomorrow.